what we will do in this video first of all create a model whenever i click the button the model should show whenever we click on this close button it will close and again click model whenever we click on the content area it will not close but if we click on the outside it will close and also these are the tasks that we will perform so let's get started so for creating the model so we need these things first of all we will create a basic model layout then we will add styling to that then we will handle the show and hide of the model and then implement unclose event then the last thing we should do that would be so whenever we click outside of the content so it should close so these are the five tasks that we should perform for creating a model so first of all i will create a file by the name of model.js okay and also a uh, app.js and i will create the model first of all react functional component and export it i will assign a class name model to this model this would be model content and also i should create 3d view and the first one will be model header second one would be model content class name would be, the last one would be model footer yeah the first i will add model header here the content content of the model and the last thing would be button close ok it should be the close button and also we should have an hr tag here and also now we will import this model in the app.js here i will import the model yes import it and now i will import app in index and that has imported So now let's see how it looks like. See it? It is our model, okay? Now we will come here and just to the app.js and we will create a button here. Show model. So I will add some styles to the model, okay, to style it, I will add some CSS code to this, I will create a model.css file, so I will pause the video to the video not become longer to save the time, then I will write design, then I will start. So I wrote CSS design and I import the CSS file, I wrote just CSS design for the model for this company element position pick stuff right and background color and display flex it is a css design so let's check it how it looks like yeah it looks like this so now we will add the design to this content okay to the content section also i will come here that model content i will pause the video just to not become longer so I have added this CSS course, so okay, that model content, width and background and h3 tag, margin 0, header and portal padding and also to the model body, before I just correct this one, it was model content, I change, changed it to model content, model body, okay. So now let's see it, how it looks like, see it, it looks like this. So the layout has finished, we styled our 
a model so now we will um, handle the show and hide uh, functionality okay so let's come to the model js so here we will light we will pass a property okay by the name of show okay show so now we will check that if show if it was true what it should do if it was not true sorry if it was not true so then it will return null otherwise it will return statements okay so now let's pass this show to our model from app.js so here we should declare a value for that const show set show we will use use state hook for the state to handle new state hook by default we will pass false to this wiki false so now we will pass that show show okay we pass that there so now let's check it uh, false is not defined so oh the spelling mistake uh, false let's check it by default we don't have our that has disappeared okay so let's click show model uh, show model we didn't see that and oh we didn't uh, apply that so let's uh, just apply it and click on this and click and we will call the uh, set show method okay set show and we will pass true to that whenever we click this show model so it will pass true to this show by default it is false let's check it click this see it we have right now our model so now whenever we click on this close button so it should be closed so let's perform this task we will come to the model dot js and here and click by default what we should do we handle the show property in app.js and also we will handle the close property the close functionality in this in app.js file okay we will pass another prop here by the name of on close okay is equal to what we should do here again we will call that function sit show sit show and we will pass now uh, false to that okay false so now we will we pass this and close to our model let's handle the structure that here and close we passed it and now we will use it here okay on click by on click what it will do it will call on close let's check it see it it has disappeared close back show close now the last thing is that we should do whenever we click outside this so it should be closed but not in this area okay but outside of this so let's perform this functionality this last functionality let's come here whenever we click this uh, on close and click functionality and again we will close we will call this on close okay on yes it will do the same so let's check it see it has closed but also if we click here it is closing so for to not close by in the content area what we should do we will click we will call on click and here we will call of a propagation method okay so here we will have an event and we will call e dot stop propagation simply in simply words what the propagation means it means that uh, whenever we press it uh, in the content area it will stop that okay it will not call this uh, model area okay it will stop here so let's check it come here and just show model whenever we are clicking in the content area okay i'm clicking here nothing happened but outside it is closed so it was all about uh, company creating a component in react.js so if you have liked the video please subscribe our youtube channel and thanks for watching